What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario and welcome and uh, in the last part we got out of Koopa Village and went, made to Koopa's Fortress only to get kind of only to get Bombat to join us after we got in prison so um we're pretty much now going to um use Bombat to our full potential and you can, we can finally get this key that we couldn't before however we are going to backtrack a little bit you might be wondering why we're gonna backtrack a little bit out of Cooper Brothers Fortress because there is a little something I want to get that's outside Cooper Brothers Fortress because there was a cracked wall in the background in um, one of the areas. Once our Cooper Brothers Fortress just plays the typical, uh, it plays the uh, music again. It plays the normal music again. But um, actually, with this cracked wall, I mean this. Use this cracked wall. Use this pipe and. Um, what we can do none other than we can get the FP plus badge, which we're actually going to equip that it increase our FP. So, um, so I think we can use that for now and use it pretty solidly. So, we now are essentially a 15 FP. I main focus in the early portion of this game is to get the FP and BP up because, um, FP can let, let us use stronger attacks like bomb and, um, and BP will allow us to equip more badges being able to increase FP. Believe it or not, I don't go for HP increases until, like, I've already gotten my a my uh, BP to the max. Because by the time I get to the BP, because there is a max of BP and it's, like, 30. By the time I get BP up, it'll be much later in the game. And that's when I start going for HP maxes. I only recommend this piece of advice for veteran players in the game. Also, here's a little tip. You wanna, if you don't want to fight an enemy, just run away. You lose coins from this though, but if you don't want, if you don't want to go fight, plus we can claim some of them back. We'll get rid of that one coin. Now, if you go over here, it, um, it's giving a cracked wall. So we use Bombat, and we get in this. We get a chest which contains. A refund badge, which refunds coins for items we use in battle. Another very solid badge, and another badge we're gonna equip. So yeah, we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna equip that badge, and um, we're now gonna we're now pretty much at the halfway point of Kubra's Fortress, plus the boss. So um, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Does that Cooper respond? Yes, it does. So we don't have to fight him, thankfully. We use the fortress key. And um, there's a little bit of a puzzle coming up. We have to switch to Cooper. I missed the uh, switch. Yeah, we, we are gonna need, we're gonna need to use Cooper for this section because um, we're gonna need his... Uh, the one thing I really like about this game is that there's going to be a lot of people join. There's going to be several different people joining us up on our quest, but like each character definitely has their own use. Like there's not really a wasted party member in Paper Mario, and I really like how they did this because some RPGs that are just party members you just flat out never use. Like Pokemon, there's some Pokemon you just never flat out use on teams. Paper Mario, there's use for every party member at certain points in the game. I'm gonna switch to Bombat because um, we don't really need Cooper anymore. Plus, we need Bombat because then I'm gonna crack the wall. We get the key. I think this is the very last of the keys we can get, but there's one more badge we need to get in this uh, area. Go up here, there's another switch. So, um, I'm actually going to de-equip Power Jump, and you may be asking why I'm doing this. Well, we're about to get a badge that I want to fight the, I want to fight the boss a certain way, which I've never tried before, but I want to try it for the very first time in this playthrough. Because there's a badge guarded by a Bob-omb. 
We get the Smash Charge badge, which if we equip it and we got to avoid a fight, thankfully. But, um, equip the Smash Charge badge, um, it lets you charge up your hammer uses one FP. So, we might as well do that. Actually, um, I'll get rid of Close Call, then replace with Power Jump. Cause it's still, I'm still gonna need Power Jump, but like, for, for some areas, but like, um, you know what I mean. If you've played this game before. Well, 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 Mario, I wouldn't have bet you'd made it this far. Don't get smug, pal. You just caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll be mop the floor with you once we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Yeah, boys, open fire. Anyway, so we're going to, um... We're going to get rid of blow up this rock because we get a maple syrup. You're going to need this for the boss. I just... Trust me. Now, um, these are new enemies, so I'll, I'll just show up and fight with one of them. These are bullet bells. They will, um, they're basically like the ball bombs. They'll ambush you, except they'll do it right away, not just when they get hit. They only give one HP, though. So that is kind of, that is a little lame. But it's not the worst of the world, it's than no RP. If you get to enemies in the early portion of the game, but you're a higher level, you're, you're eventually just gonna stop getting XP. You just can't just grind earlier enemies when you're in the later portions of this game. That's one trick I do, by the way. I usually just use Bombette to just, um, usually just use Bombette to, um, what am I trying to say? Sandwich that, and plus, um, remember that, uh, remember that Thunderbolt we got from earlier? Oh yeah, owned. We got twelve. That, we got twelve star points out of that. So we only had to use three FP. We got some coins out of this too. So we're gonna use the um, we're gonna use the heart block. So um, boss time. You guys ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, stick a leg. Ow, Michelle, get off. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, for the love of, what are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally, let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah! Anyway, ah, ha ha! I've been waiting for you, Mario. Boah, ha ha ha! The strongest and the coolest. Part of the goal is the, the evil, great evil King Bowser. Ask me to beat these foolish ideas out of you. Save and Peach, please. Watch this and weep. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna charge with the hammer because this will. His, his defense power is one, so we're going to just, um... Ah, ha, ha, I'm invincible. You are powerless before me. So I think we should do this maybe, um, increase by two. So we'll start with one attack. So it'll be three, five, seven. We'll do this five times. I've never fought... I've never fought it this way before, but it's pretty much a PP saver than just using bomb. Power jump and bomb. What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny. You can't even touch me. We'll see about that. We're gonna see this charge one more time. We're gonna see it two more times. Plus, I want to go through all the dialogue. Gah ha 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 You're so weak, ho. I can't stop laughing. Mario can't remember the things with King Bowser. Mario will hear us. <laughs> this, this dialogue does get pretty funny. One more, one more hammer charge, and we should do it. This max HP is 10. Oh, you're pathetic. You're always this weak. This one should be called Paper Bowser. Um, Red, we've got Ritz in a lot of different places here. Forget about it. Mario's shaking his boots. Let's get him. And let's uh, do hammer charge one more time. Do nothing. Keep doing alien eye command. What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny. You can't even touch me. Anyway, so now we're gonna unleash our hammer. And that did 11 damage. 
Oh no, that costume was perfect. Bowser loved it. Here come the Cooper brothers. My game just lagged. Now they're gonna stack up on four. If they attack you with all this, okay, Mario, have a taste of this. If they attack you with all this, they're gonna do four damage. So my advice is to use bomb, that's bomb, and then I'll instantly get them down. So I guess one thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna use a power jump and it's gonna on green Koopa. And use Body Slam, then I'll take out the green. They all have 5 HP. And I'll use Power Jump on, a, I'll use Power Jump on the Yellow Koopa, and then Body Slam, I should take him out. So yeah, instead of a uh, 5 damage, Human Brothers Special Super Spinning Attack. So yeah, it only did one damage since we uh, timed the uh, action command. And this is the other way you kind of get them down. You use, you use a hammer. Oh, we're going over! And you use a body slam. And then we're going to use a uh, power jump. I think I have time to do one more hammer charge. So yeah, only one Cooper brother remains. But we're gonna use one more pout. We're gonna use we're gonna use a hammer charge. Ha! Ah, you did nothing because it was red. It's um. So we're gonna use our hammer, and we should do three damage. One more hit, and Bombette, finish him off. Get your revenge. We got 34 star points for that. Whoa! Hey, hello, somebody let us out of here. Just collect this star. End of chapter. And so Mario and his friends beat the Koopa brothers at the fortress and rescued the first star spirit. Still, six star spirits have remained in prison and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course Princess Peach, lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. The adventure has just begun. I will cut it off, so next time Paper Mario, we are going to do another then. Go back to Toad Town. See you guys then.